combination. Why oh, is this No matter how confident he looks, he's always he's going to have it in the back of his mind that he already lost to me, and I think he's scared that he's going to lose again. No excuses, you know, I lost, but uh, I'm 100% and I'm coming for him. I want him to be the best he can possibly be, so there's no excuses when I beat him. Good job by Sam Stout. Oh, combination, caught him with a left. Hand by Stout, Spencer's covering up. Oh, oh. I'm not even going to leave it up to the, the judges this time. It won't even be nearly as close as the last time. You can talk all you want, but uh, we have to fight. It's going to be a fight. Tonight, the fans can expect a war between me and Spencer Fisher. It's not so much as a vigilant loss as it is for me to, to get back on track to where I need to be. And Sam's standing in my way. Spencer Fisher's in my way to get to the top of the top of the heap when it comes to the 155-pound division. Never once did he hurt me in, in our last fight. So uh, I might go out there and stand with him, or I might uh, put him on his head and look to finish his fight. You know, he's a gamer. He's tough. He's, uh, he can take a punch. He can throw a punch. I don't think Sam wanted to fight me again. I think he wanted to take that fight and go. And uh, I don't blame him. I'm coming in there to knock him out. I'm coming in there to throw some bombs. And that's, uh, that's what I plan on doing from start to finish in this fight. So this fight's coming in. I'm excited about it. And uh, I'm coming to get this fight back. The first matchup in March of 2006 was nominated for Fight of the Year. It was Sam Stout's debut at UFC 58. He won a hard-fought three-round split decision over Spencer Fisher. Fisher doesn't want it to be two in a row. Losses to Sam Stout. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. The Canadian, 23 years old. The American, 31 years old. Fisher is two inches shorter. The reach is nearly identical. They will meet again for a second time here tonight in Hollywood, Florida. And with the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this UFC bout is sanctioned by the Florida State Boxing Commission with Tom Malloy, Executive Director, and our judges at Octagon side are Chris Lee, Mike Roth, and Tim Venati. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Big John McCarthy. And now, this is the main event of the evening from the Hard Rock Live, owned and operated by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. It's time! Three rounds in the UFC Lightweight Division. It's in the first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 20 wins with three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Bentendorf, Iowa, Spencer the King Fisher! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 12 wins with two losses and one draw. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of London, Ontario, Sam Hands of Stone Stout! I want a good, clean fight. Do I have any questions from you, Spencer? Any questions from you, Sam? Let's fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. Let's go back to the corner. Spencer Fisher looks very relaxed. Sam Stout, very intense. Fisher knows he's in much better shape this time. And knows the talents he has with him. Big John McCarthy, our referee. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on. Come our on. main event of the evening is underway. Whoa. Stout comes out swinging. Sam Stout said he is twice the fighter he is now than when he fought Spencer Fisher the first time. Combinations landed by Fisher. Spencer Fisher is landing some bombs early. Oh, Fisher with a right. Here. 
Fisher looks sharp. Oh, Comes over the top and catches him again. Spencer Fisher is landing some shots. Stout looking for an answer. It looks like Spencer Fisher really wants to prove that he's a different fighter than the first time those guys fought. Well, you could tell at the weigh-ins yesterday that he's in phenomenal shape, the best shape of his fighting career. Yeah, he looks great. Another left hand lands. Stout turns him around immediately. See the training with Couture. Really working on his grappling, and it shows. Talking to Randy about Sam Stout, he just said this kid has all kinds of potential. 23 years old. Yeah. Fighting since age 16. Good body kick by Spencer. His father pushed him early to compete in a lot of martial arts. All trying to work the elbow with Spencer Fisher. Fisher teed off a little bit early. Now Stout trying to find the range. Fisher is very well rounded, as you alluded to. Yeah, he looks physically better than I've ever seen him in the octagon. And he comes tight again. He's coming off that loss to Hermes Franca, and you know I'm sure two in a row is not what he wants. Both of these men realize the importance of tonight's main event. Both excited nice to be featured in a main event, Joe. Fisher oh. connects again. Sam Stout to take a punch. Wow, he's taking more than one here. And now another one. Spencer is just landing at will. It's amazing. You would think that Spencer, watching these exchanges, you would think Spencer is the kickboxing champ. Fisher all over Stout here early. Connected with a right hook earlier. He's connected with a couple of lefts. Kick by Stout. And now Stout trying to answer. Good pace to round number one. Fisher oh, is Spencer amazingly Fisher. accurate. Just sharp counter punches by Spencer. Fisher's really mixing things up well. Yeah, he's mixing things up well with some great feints and short counters inside. Bloodied up is Sam Stout. Side of his head. Again, combination. The knee to the body to finish that off. Fisher looks really light on his feet tonight. Good counter by Sam Stout. They Good clinch again, Stout. and now bloodied up on the right eye is Spencer Fisher. What Sam a battle. Stout sees it and targets it immediately. Oh, Stout comes right forward here. with an elbow. Trying to go with the Superman. Spencer is bleeding badly now. Stout took more than one direct hit here in round number one. Oh. This is why we said at the top of the show, 155 is so much fun. It's such a dynamic weight class. Oh, kick blocked. Now Stout trying to change the momentum here. Over the top. Spencer just winging punches there. Sam counters with the right hand. Stout. Good body kick by Stout. A counter right hand by Fisher. At least on paper is the more technical and more versatile striker. And on, on paper, really, is the most important part of that sentence. Yeah, exactly. Because really Fisher looks landed. ever improving. Oh, right hand by Stout right after we said that. And Spencer's bleeding badly now. What a great first round. Toe to toe they go. Fisher with a big left. Wow. It's not deep. It's not too bad, bud. Everything looks it's good. good. good Spencer breath. Fisher's got a nasty deep cut. Breath, deep breath. Hey, Spence, yeah. let's take him down this round. Uh, let's take hey. him down. 
Two, three, two, take hey. down, baby. Spencer, you won the first round. Can you deliver it? Two, three, two, stand that line. Don't go up on the line. Circle out when you're done. Don't stay in that pocket. Line. Circle to the right. All right, they'll go down, come up hard. He's hurt. That lead will cross. Get the center and put him around the outside. You got me? You're doing great in there, son. You're doing a great job. You let him fight with emotion and we'll fight like fighters. Got it? You look great in there. Let's keep picking Spencer up the pace. Spencer Fisher's corner is telling Spencer to take him down. Right now. You can see the benefit of both men being well prepared here tonight. Bloodied up over the right eye is Fisher. Stout looks good. Fisher owned it early. Stout late. Fisher connected right at the end of round number one. Spencer Fisher has tremendous hand speed. Maybe the fastest hands at 155. I mean, it's really uh, making Stout look kind of slow. Oh, good body kick. A little of that Muay Thai training in Thailand. Not body punch by Spencer. Spencer Another looking with a knee. Go. He's setting everything up He's here. He's just mixing it up so well. That's what you talked about before on paper, but so far here tonight, very versatile, more versatile than we've ever seen him, is Spencer the King Fisher. Yeah, Spencer looks to be the much better striker. Body kick. Four minutes, Spencer. Stout in the white trunks. Fisher the southpaw in the green trunks. Stout thinking uppercut. Straight left by Spencer. Fisher just a small oh, town nice boy from North Carolina. Kick. It's it. That's that's the beauty of what Spencer's doing here. Is like you don't, you don't predict what's happening. You know we, we see a lot of guys step into the octagon. And we see the the real obvious one two punch. One two one two one two. What Spencer's doing is you don't know where he's coming from. He's throwing straight lefts out of nowhere. He's throwing the jab. He's throwing right hooks. He's throwing leg kicks. And a counter by Sam Stout. Superman punch. Body shot. Just mixing it up continuously. Let's go. We can do everything. You just hear his corner yell, we can do everything. Let's go. Body, body knee right there. That time it was stout. Couple minutes in to the second round. This is exactly what you want from a main event of the evening. Two men willing to go toe to toe inside the world famous octagon. And in Spencer's corner, in between rounds, they were telling him, "Let's take this fight to the ground now." But Spencer's having none of it. Watch your head. Watch your head. Spencer going right into the strength right hand by Sam Stout. Stout. Good solid defense by Spencer. Spencer keeping those hands up. Oh. Step in, nice leg and kick. And a good leg kick. This is the best Spencer Fisher we've ever seen. No question about it. And I don't think it hurt him, the fact that Jens Pulver is getting set up for his rematch with BJ Penn, and they've been pushing each other diligently. That fight right here on Spike TV. Nice side leg kick Fisher. An answer to it by Stout. But Stout still coming forward. Fisher with the hands up. Traveled 600 miles to Benton, North Iowa from a small town in North Carolina. Cashiers, one stoplight, less than 200 people. The chant of USA, the Canadian against the American, but both tremendous competitors. Couple of wins north of the border since his last appearance in the Octagon. Nice knee by Stout. Right hand by Stout. Nice oh, right again with the right. Nice kick by Spencer. 
That eye's opened up just a little bit, Another Joe. Kick. Stout trying with the combinations here. But Stout hasn't been able to target it as much as he would like to. You know what, though? The blood is going down the corner, yes. and it's going down the front with the one on his cheek. It doesn't seem to be impairing his vision at all. I haven't seen him squint. And Spencer's the kind of guy you'll never know if he's caught by the way he fights. He doesn't, you know, some guys, that get caught and they freak out. Spencer's not going to freak out. He's got a knee. Will we see the first takedown? Well, he attempted it before, but, you know, all that training that, that Stout has been doing on his grappling is really paying off. And his strength is not the ground game, so he avoids it here. Final seconds of round number two. 15 seconds on the clock. Good second round for Spencer Fisher. It's amazing if you look at these two guys' faces, you would swear that Sam Stout was the one who's landing all the punches. Absolutely. Oh, Spencer is cut up. Right. I mean, I, I don't know if he that's grabs the cage on just the table because now. of all the uh, scar tissue that he has on his face or, or what, but. Yeah, you're up to nothing, man. Those rounds were not even close. Hey, Smith, you can do everything, baby. Let's take him down. Let's take him down and beat him up. Josh Neer saying it again. Let's take him down hey, and beat him up, but it's not, not that easy. Take down, but hey, if the takedown's there, take it, man. Okay? You look great, man. Pitch your angles, you're killing him. He has nothing on his punch. When he does it, know you've got to And in the corner of Sam Stout. Clip you. All right? Sam Stout, Stout refusing to work all day long with in between both Don't rounds. Don't get caught in a war. Yeah, lead to a cross. Don't get, like, don't get emotional with him. Right? We're winning every exchange. Wins a fight. That's an interesting. Sean Thompson saying we're winning every exchange. I completely disagree. Second down, let's go. Get it out. I mean, now. Obviously, he's probably out. trying walk to pump his say. confidence. But probably don't want good. to tell walk him he's off. losing every exchange. That might be a good thing to say. Yeah. Sean Tompkins in the corner of Sam Stout. Yeah, you would think that Stout is in total control here looking at the face of Spencer Fisher. I'm sure that's what Tompkins is doing. I'm sure, I'm sure he's just trying to pump up Sam Stout. But he's got to put some urgency into... Uh, Stout's game plan here. The Fisher corner believes they have captured both rounds one and two. Do you agree? I absolutely agree. I don't I don't think it's a doubt. Which means Stout has to really turn oh. it up here. Nice leg kick by Spencer. That just shows you the versatility of Spencer because Stout switched stances just for a moment. Spencer targeted the right leg. DJ Penn, Jens Pulver, Sean Shirk. <laughs> Just a few of the many great lightweights featured in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Can't forget about Kenny Florian coming off an impressive win. But Fisher and Stout very much in the mix. Yeah, absolutely. Nice leg kick by Spencer. Oh, oh big left. That rattled him and now a straight right. Much different than the first battle. Yeah, he looks to have so much more energy, so much lighter on his feet. He eats a body kick there. Good left hand by Spencer. And another one. Beautiful combination. Fisher doing everything right in preparation for this main event of the evening. Seems to have more gas right now than Stout. Stout's hands starting to fall a little bit. Fisher defensively is handling the combinations put together by Stout. Oh, another left. Stout. Very shortly, he's going to need to go into desperation mode. He should have already been there. At the beginning of this round, he should have been there. That's the only thing that I disagree with about Tompkins coaching him in his corner. Good body kick right there by Stout. Superman punch. Nice and body, body kick, kick, by, kick by, Spencer. by Spencer Fisher. Oh! oh down goes Stout momentarily. Fisher looking for the finish. Stout is still in trouble. He gets hit again. 
Dow can take a punch. And he's taking a bunch. Spectacular main event of the evening. Sam Stout's finally showing some wear on his face. Body kick. Forget about the ground game. These two men going toe to toe with under two minutes remaining in the fight. Fisher known to always move forward, and tonight has been the most prominent display of that aggressiveness. And moving forward in such a technical way, I mean, he's, he's so crisp with his punches. With all of his strikes, really. Learned a little bit more about the toughness in the heart of Sam Stout tonight, didn't we? Well, I don't think that's ever been in question. He's a tough, tough guy. You don't get to be a world championship kickboxer by being a pussy. Yeah, no question about it. He has taken extreme punishment here. Good body kick by Sam Stout right there. A minute to go. This crowd is on its feet. What an exchange. Jam-packed Hard Rock Live. This, this is a great fight. Seconds remains. Fisher will still move forward and try to finish. He wants the highlight reel knockout. And he's willing to take a risk to try to get it. Well, that's one of the beauties of Spencer Fisher's style. He's always taking risks. Calculated risk, but risk on the left. He's just so light on his feet tonight, Joe. And Stout is exhausted. As you said, he's making Stout look slow. And Stout is anything but that. Ten seconds oh, remain. A standing ovation for both fighters. Big by what a battle. And it is all over. What a fight. Man, that was a great fight. We will go to the judges' scorecards. Put on a show tonight, but who will reign supreme? Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of incredible action by these UFC lightweight warriors, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. Mike Ross scores the contest 30-27. Chris Lee has it 30-27, and Tim Venata scores the bout 30-27 for the winner. By unanimous decision, Spencer the King Fisher. Overcome with emotion is Spencer Fisher. Here's Joe. All right, I'm here with a very emotional Spencer Fisher. Spencer, you've always been an exciting fighter. You always had Chris striking, but man, you were on tonight. How great does it feel to avenge that loss? Uh, I think it should have been a draw. I'm happy to win. Uh, I got to thank God for putting me here and doing the things I love to do. But uh, I have to dedicate that fight to my grandparents who helped me, who raised me. So I'm a little emotional, but uh, I. It was a you tough you fight. really thought that fight should have been a draw? It was close. You know, I, like I said, I can't argue with the judges. I'm glad I won. That's a winning purse for me and my family. Right, Emily? And uh, I'm happy. Well, congratulations. Take a look at the big screen and talk us through some of the action here. Well, uh, he hit me just as hard as I hit him and uh, just as much. It was a great fight, and I, I'm sure there'll be a part three, Sam. You're the toughest guy I've fought so far in here, so uh, I hope to see you do it again. Spencer, you're very humble in victory, and we look forward to seeing you again. Spencer Fisher, ladies and gentlemen.